Okay, so the components are the basic building blocks of a React application. And a React application can be made up of different components. And each component is a self-contained section of that page. For example, a navbar can be a component. This sidebar can be a different component. And this column one can be a different component as well. But it, as a developer, it is up to us to manage these components and show the content on the web page. Now, each component can have two things. A view and a logic. A view is basically the design or the template of the component and it is made up of HTML and CSS like how you see this navbar in the browser. And the logic is the JavaScript code that uh, that controls the interaction with the component like it can be a simple function that fetches the data when we click on a link. Okay so uh, this is the application that we were working on last time and this is the root component this is the index.js file. This file is responsible for taking the app component and mounting it to the root div of the application. So this is very important. This is how the app app component is rendering to the browser. Like here you see it. So now let's see what's inside our app component. So it's a basic function that returns a simple HTML and CSS. This is the function and here it returns a simple mockup which looks like an HTML code, but actually it's not. It's called JSX and JSX and HTML are very similar, but they have some differences as well. Like we can use dynamic values inside JSX and in JSX we can't use class uh, because class is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. So we can't really use that, but in instead we, we need to use class name but it doesn't affect how it renders inside the browser because React handles this in the backend and converts all these class names into class. And if we inspect this component, we will see class instead of class names. Like uh, you can see here, it's showing the class app, not the class name equals to app because React has handled it in the backend and converts it to the uh, class. So uh, this is how the JSX is different to HTML and CSS. And now let's uh, try to change the content of the component. Let me just remove all of this code and try changing it to app component. You can use simple HTML tags inside this. Uh, it should be app component. And when I change this, it will auto reload the component in the browser because it's a hard development server and we are not using the logo so I can remove it. Okay, so this is how a component works inside a React.js application and uh, in short, a component is just a function that returns a mockup and that can be used anywhere inside the application. So last thing is this export uh, statement and this is because we need to export the component so we can use it somewhere else like in index.gss how we are importing the app component and using it inside the uh, root div so we need to export the components as well so we can use use them somewhere else and similarly you can use other components inside this component as well but they also need to be exported so we can use them here so I'm pretty sure that you got the idea of what a React component is and how it works. So see you in the next video.